Hi guys, uh, I'm Craig Fox. I'm the owner of Fox Grand Countertops. Um, I hope you guys saw some other videos on our blog. Uh, we're really excited about talking today about high bars. I think one of the biggest decisions that I encounter with my customers when I walk into a sales meeting is what to do with a high bar. Uh, a high bar, if you guys don't know what it is, is a section of the kitchen that is maybe six to eight inches higher than your normal countertop height. The reason why it's there is it acts as a shelf or in many cases acts as a place to put stools and sit for bar seating. So the question that I receive most when I come to people's houses is what do I do with the space? Well, the starting place of this conversation is chances are your current space is about 12 to 13 inches. Um, that's your max. When you go to granite, granite's much, much, much heavier. And the structure that we're seeing on granite countertop in your high bar is only about a two by four stud wall with sheetrock. That means it's maybe four and a half inches, that total 12 to 13 inches that it has bracing for. That means you have about six inches or so of non-bracing. That's like a teeter-totter just tipping over. Well, the bond between the granite and the stud the half stud wall, the wood wall, is very strong. So we can go 12 to 13 inches without having any really risk whatsoever. So if you are the person who doesn't use it, you don't put bar stools, there's no reason to spend more money to make more square footage and then more bracing. That 12 to 13 is absolutely perfect for you. And in fact, that's about 70% of all our customers keep it at 12 to 13 inches. It's safe. It's you know, the least expensive option, and there's no reason to go past that. Now, for the customers who want a little bit bigger, the next jump up requires some bracing. It's not as expensive because they're just, you know, small flat bars, but the, the range for that is about 13 to maybe 15 inches total width. That gives you, you know, anywhere from six to maybe eight inches of knee space. It's just enough to where it's comfortable, but not, you know, it still could be not perfect for people over six feet, you know, but it's still good to put a cup, you can put a plate, you can have your silver, you can eat there. It's a pretty good width, guys. And that, you know, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money for us to screw in these flat bars, you know, to the top of your stud wall that will carry the weight to allow you to have that 15 inches. Um, the third option, which is the least chosen by our customers, but is a very effective option for people who really want a large area. They don't want to have any chance of hitting their knees into the wall. They want to eat comfortably. They want to put tons of platters and plates there. They don't want a cramped area at all. It's about 16 to 18 inches. Now to do that, you have to use really, really, really heavy flat bars. I mean, these things are a quarter inch thick. I mean, they're just strong. They're strong. They screw into the top of the wood cell wall. We notch them in. We put maybe, you know, six to 10 of them. We have no chance of them falling over. They're there for life. Everyone's happy. It does cost a little more money, but um, if you're looking for that situation, it's perfect for you and we can do it all ourselves. You don't need a carpenter to do it. We're happy to do everything for you. I'll bring the tape measure when we meet. We can show you all the options, but just knowing this ahead of time allows you to think about it and think about really what your objective is. You know, costs, entertaining, safety. You know, those are all the kind of things I think about when I help you make these decisions. So, hope this was very helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in a meeting, and thanks again for watching.